Now I'm going to demonstrate how to create a time phase budget once the final schedule has been completed and finalized. So here we have our network consisting of six activities spanning, let's say, 12 months in this case. And each of the activities has a budget that's been estimated. And that budget has, oh, is over here. And the cost over the time period necessary to complete that activity has been estimated given each of the monthly time periods. So for example, activity A has a total cost of let's say 40,000 and is 10,000 across the four months. Activity B, which is supposed to take five months, has a total cost of 32,000 and we see the cost varies. 8,000 the first month, 4,000 the second, 8,000 the third, fourth, 1,000 the fourth, and so forth. Activity C has a total cost of 48, spread evenly across the four months. And then activity D, 18,000, initially 6,000 the first month, 2,000 for the next three months, and then 6,000 at the end. And you can make sense of the remaining figures there. So we want to take this information, utilize the schedule here, and create a time phase budget uh, for this schedule so we know how much is going to be spent for each of the time periods during the duration of this project. So activity A and B are both going to start. We go up here, go ahead and put in that 10, 10, 10, and go ahead and put in the 8, 4, 8, 4, 8, and then activity C starts at this period, and it's 12, 12, 12 and 12 and then activity starts here and it's 6, 2, 2, 2, 6. And so one of the things this should remind you of is a Gantt chart. But instead of bars we're putting numbers and those numbers correspond to the cost by week. I think earlier I said month but we're really considering only in terms of weeks. So ignore what I said earlier. And then finally 20 at the end. So here's our completed time phase budget for our project. And notice down here we've accumulated the costs over the, each of the weekly periods. And we now estimate that the total cost for this project would be 206000 Also notice that the cost varies by time period. And here, during these two periods, has the, the, the most expenses, the highest costs, while this period has the lowest costs. And so one of the things to keep in mind is that co costs on a project aren't static. They vary depending upon the workflow and the nature of the activities being performed. And we create this time phase budget so that we can check and monitor our progress. This will become very important when it comes time to assessing actual performance, when we compare how well we're doing in reality to this plan anticipated budget.